Today on Ask Bloop, is it okay working for free? Welcome to Ask Bloop, more here from bloopanimation.com. It's Friday and it's time for your questions. Do you plan on making a course about Premiere or Moho? I plan to eventually have courses for all the programs that serve animators, and Premiere is one of them. Moho is definitely on the list, though they're not currently in development. We're now finishing up a huge course about storyboarding, storyboarding foundations, and when that's done, we'll examine what courses to make next. How does a short movie win an award or get nominated? Well, you have to submit it to festivals. There's a ton of festivals. Some are free and some cost money to submit. When I finished Lift Up, I couldn't afford to put any money into festival submission since I was right out of school. So I only submitted to the free ones. But that was still a good thing to do and led to being screened at several of them. With Tasteful though, I'm going to definitely aim at some of the bigger festivals. And I will try to make a video about that process when I get to that point. I know that artists should be paid for their work, even though some people think it's okay to make artists work for free. When building a team, is there an alternative to money? Something else to offer where both the employer and the artist can benefit from? That is kind of a touchy subject to many people. Because you're right, artists should get paid and people do take advantage of them and offer exposure as an alternative to payment. When I started working on Tasteful, I was facing that exact dilemma as I couldn't afford to hire a team of people to work on the film, but I also wanted to make one. I wanted it to be bigger than what I've done before. And that could only be done by bringing people in. So I did look for people who will work on the film on their spare time and not get paid. There is something to be said about wanting to work on a project on a pro bono basis. And a lot of people who applied to work on Tasteful were really okay with not getting paid because it gave them a chance to work on a really fun project and getting great material for their reel or resume. But because the issue of not getting paid really bothered me, I did create a contract with them in which the film will be sold instead of posted online for free, along with some merchandise. And all profits from that will be distributed between the team, kind of like a reverse Kickstarter, but independently created. As a beginner though, there's nothing wrong with finding other people to collaborate with. People who just want to work on a cool project. And yes, they're working for free, but so are you. It's a team project. You all want to make something cool, and that's totally fine. It's mostly an issue when big studios get unpaid interns and use them in exchange for exposure when they could obviously afford to pay them. A great place to start that kind of collaboration is the Bloop Creators Club, our private online community, where you can find other like-minded artists who want to make cool stuff as well. You can join for free at bloopanimation.com slash creators club. All right, that's all the questions for today. If you have one, post it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.